From ingredients to explosives, let's dive into the making of gunpowder. Welcome to Everyday Things Uncovered, where we explore the fascinating stories behind everyday objects that shape our world. Gunpowder, one of humanity's most impactful inventions, transformed the face of warfare, mining, and construction. Its development marked a significant turning point in technological advancements, leading to the emergence of firearms and artillery. But what exactly is gunpowder, and how was it created? In this video, we'll explore the captivating history and intricate process of making this explosive substance that altered the course of history. Gunpowder, also known as black powder, is a chemical mixture consisting of three primary components, saltpeter, charcoal, and sulfur. Each ingredient plays a crucial role in the explosive reaction that occurs when gunpowder is ignited. Saltpeter, or potassium nitrate, acts as the oxidizer, providing the necessary oxygen for combustion. Charcoal serves as the fuel, while sulfur lowers the ignition temperature and enhances the overall efficiency of the explosion. So, the origins of gunpowder actually date back to ancient China, where it was discovered around the 9th century during the Tang Dynasty. Alchemists who were searching for the legendary elixir of life accidentally stumbled upon this explosive mixture. At first, gunpowder was mainly used in fireworks and as a propellant for simple weapons like bombs and rockets. Over time, the knowledge of gunpowder slowly spread along the Silk Road to the Middle East and Europe, where it was, you know, refined and adapted for military uses. To really understand how gunpowder is made, we need to first explore its components. Saltpeter, which is the key ingredient, can be found in naturally occurring deposits, or it can be produced synthetically through a chemical process. Charcoal is created by burning wood in a low oxygen environment in a process called pyrolysis. And sulfur, well, that can be mined directly from the earth or produced through the combustion of certain materials. So, the first step in making gunpowder is to gather the necessary ingredients. You'll need saltpeter, charcoal and sulfur, all in the correct proportions. Traditional recipes actually call for about 75% saltpeter, 15% charcoal and 10% sulfur by weight. Achieving this precise ratio is absolutely critical because even small deviations can really affect how the gunpowder performs. Once you've got all the ingredients, the next step is to grind them into a fine powder. This is usually done with a mortar and pestle, or maybe a mechanical grinder if you have one. Grinding increases the surface area of the particles, which allows them to interact better and gives you a more consistent burn. After the grinding is done, the ingredients are combined in a process known as incorporation. This can be done either dry or wet. The dry method means you carefully blend all the powders together, making sure they're evenly mixed without adding any moisture. On the other hand, the wet method involves dampening the mixture with water or alcohol, which actually helps prevent accidental ignition while you're mixing everything up. Once the ingredients are thoroughly combined, they're allowed to dry before being granulated into uniform particles. Granulation is, um, a crucial step in the production of gunpowder, since it really helps with even burning and makes handling a lot easier. The granules are usually about one to three millimeters in diameter and, you know, their size can actually affect the burn rate. After granulation, the gunpowder is often subjected to a process called corning. This involves basically moistening the gunpowder a bit and pressing it into cakes to form larger granules. Corning helps to further stabilize the mixture and honestly, can enhance its performance when it's ignited. Once the gunpowder is fully processed, it has to be stored properly to prevent any accidental ignition. Gunpowder is, like, highly sensitive to heat, sparks, and friction, so it should always be kept in airtight containers, away from direct sunlight and heat sources. Historically, people stored gunpowder in wooden kegs or metal canisters, often placing them in separate magazines to you know, minimize the risk of explosion in case there was an accident. So the impact of gunpowder on society and warfare really cannot be overstated. Its introduction totally revolutionized military tactics, you know, making traditional fortifications and armored knights pretty much obsolete. 
the development of firearms, cannons, and explosive devices changed the landscape of warfare forever. Beyond its military applications, gunpowder also found uses in mining, construction, and even in the entertainment industry, particularly in fireworks. So, safety has always been a significant concern in the production and handling of gunpowder. You know, many historical incidents of accidental explosions have led to stricter regulations and safety protocols over time. Workers involved in the manufacturing process often took precautions, like wearing protective gear and, yeah, adhering to strict guidelines to minimize the risk of accidents. As we look back on the history of gunpowder, we can really appreciate how this simple mixture of ingredients transformed human civilization, from its ancient origins in China to its pivotal role in shaping modern warfare. Gunpowder has, without a doubt, left an indelible mark on our world. Understanding its components, production methods, and impact gives us a deeper appreciation for this explosive invention. Your input matters. So share your ideas for our next video in the comments and we'll recognize your contribution. Thanks for joining us on this exploration of the fascinating stories behind everyday things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and yeah, stay tuned for more captivating content. Thanks for watching. And if you want to learn more, just click the next video right here.